What's up guys, it's Mirani here and welcome to my Tempora 7 Osatopia tips and tricks video. In this video I want to show you how to get started in Osatopia and after you got your class, if you are pre-registered, you already picked your class, if not you have to do that and after that you come to this map here. In, on this map you see now three, uh, before I picked mine, the fourth one was in this place here. You have to pick your monster and I would recommend you to take that mon monster which um, element you want to go for. The white one, the rock here is for air, It's this one is for fire, the turtle one. Mine, uh, it's like a penguin, it's for water and this drill bit it's called I think is for earth. And that's very important to pick the first starting one for your element you want to go for because every monster gain characteristics from your character. So your character ca cannot do any damage, but they gain AP, MP, health, elemental stats, everything from your character. Then it's very important to select um, a monster before you go to the tutorial or um, fight any monster because as I said you can't do any damage and to equip your monster you have to go to the spells and then you have your monster in in your inventory under consumables. Later you can um, exchange them. I will show this also in the, this video but um, I come to this later. If you have it in your inventory, double click it and it gets to this section here. But as you can see, it is not equipped. To equip it, just drag and drop it in your spell spell and then you then it's equipped and you can um, cast a spell in the fight. And one side note, uh, like the normal Pokemon game, you just can have six active monsters in your deck. So as you can see, I have six already active. If I want to take the other one, I have to take one out and take the other one in. So remember that. After selecting your first monster, I would to recommend you to do the tutorial because I got an additional monster. Um, I will show you a picture here, how it looks like. And then you have from the beginning two monsters to fight with. That's very helpful. And the next one, what I want to show you is the Osatopia city, I would call it. It's called like the Ephemeral Dimension. Like for me, it's easier to say Osatopia city. And you can go there uh, when you talk to Professor Oraxum. She is in the at the starting map. Or later you get this potion here. Um, through the battle pass, but I will also show you this later in this video. So here you have different options. As you can see here, these portals, you can return to Incanum or return to Astrup. When you talk to Philip S, maybe you know that from the last year's Temporis, there you can fight uh, arch monsters and bounty monsters. And when you talk to Professor Orexum, you head, can head over to the workshop, to the center, and we will uh, go first to the center. It uh, looks like a Poké Center, and here are different NPCs where you can um, talk to and exchange things, and you can return also to the main hall if you talk to Professor Orexum again. If you talk to this NPC, uh, what is in here? Yes nothing, maybe later, or I just have a bug, I don't know, uh, to this Enotroph here. Here you can exchange monsters for OSA tokens. These OSA tokens you can use um, to get resources, but I show you this in the ne next, um, in the next NPC. And this depends on the rarity of the monster. So we have different um, levels, normal, rare, legendary, I think it's four to five different uh, rarities. And you can exchange them for OSA tokens. 
on this endotroph here. So then you have this Acker flip. Here can you uh, you can buy different cosmetic stuff, but therefore you need um, an item from the shop, which can only be bought by money, by real money, I think. And here you can get different uh, cosmetic stuff. And in this factor here, you can exchange the OSA tokens for signature runes, these croquettes, all the different stuff. Also, you can get um, here the badges for the Dofuses, Emerald Dofus, Covered Dofus, all that good stuff. Yeah, and what do we have here in the OSA Moda? You have uh, we do we have additional cosmetic stuff, and this one here. It's from the Twitch drops also, I think. But as you can see, 1 million also tokens very, very much. Okay, let's get back to the main hall. And then I show you the Pistology workshop. Here you can um, do the new profession. Here you can craft um, these bag of mysterious croquettes. And as it says, uh, when you double click it or when you activate it, you have a bigger chance of getting a monster. But I will also explain this later. Here you can create a mega monster. It's like in Pokemon. You can involve it. And you also have the crusher. That's very important because if you fight, you get a ton of resources and equipment. So don't level up your professions like um, tailor, shoemaker, and this stuff. Maybe the farming ones are good. I don't know. At this point, just um, don't level up the crafting ones, just the maging ones. But maybe I show you this in a, another video. So here have to, you have the crusher, and then here you can create runes. Your, um, I think you know all this good stuff here. Okay, let's return to this one here. Before I show you the temporary section where the Pokédex is and the Battle Pass, I want to show you how to get monsters, how to catch them, and how to use these bags, which we saw in the Pistology workshop, um, to increase your monster drop rate. You can see on the screen a mob, which consists of uh, two Schaefer Scouts and one Modster. And to display all the mobs in one group, you can go to Options and then um, tick on this box here, Display all monsters in a group. And this will allow you to see monsters even faster. Uh, when you start your turn or start the fight, this monster, this purple looking one, uh, turns into, for example, a crackler. And then you have a base drop, uh, drop chance of 50%. You can increase it with these specs here, as I, said, uh, as I showed you before. And um, this increases, this low level back increases the chance by 10%. And if you progress through this um, profession, you get access to even higher um bags i don't know how to call that and this increases your chance um prospecting does not increase it and after you beat the mob uh, the group then you have the chance of dropping it let's go over the temporis section here you can click on this arrow, on the screen arrow here, and then when you click on collection, you have your Pokédex. Um, all the numbers up to 151. And there you can see which Pokémons I already have in the bottom right corner, 8 of 151. This is my starting one. You also see some of them has um, a golden thing around it and that means that I, that I completed all achievement for this monster. Um, yes, that's it for this section here. When you go to Temporis, you have the battle pass. 
as you can see, I'm at 125 turn tokens. And this potion here, 10 turn tokens, this is the potion which I meant before. You can automatically teleport yourself to this area here. And as you progress through, you get different um, cosmetic stuff and and these things in the big boxes you can return to the normal server like Echo or Elise. When we look at the achievements, you click just uh, on this icon here or U on your keyboard and you have this import section down below and there you can see how much tempokens you get for different achievements when you fight all the PVs you get one and as it gets harder you get more tempokens. Then you have the arch monster section where you have to feed all the arch monsters before you get the tempokens. The dungeon waves in the first week you get the most of them, uh, the most tempokens. This decreases when you fight the same dungeon in a week later. So first wave is this week, next week is the second wave, and in the third week of the opening is the third wave. Then we have the achievement point section. I'm already at 232. And a little tip from my side, um, like last Temporis, it's very helpful to do um, these challenges here at the very beginning. Um, as you can see, you get a ton of tokens from that. I think all over it's 120 or something like that when you do all the achievements. And how you do this, this um, is very good if you are not higher than level 31. Then you can do the Calderum script dungeon. The first room is level 31 and then you have in total five rooms rooms and you can do two challenges in each room so that's 10 uh, max in one run and that's very easy to do the challenges in uh, this dungeon here when you want to do it in a other dungeon you have a higher level cap but you can um, can't turn the fights as fast as in this dungeon here. So if you want to do it, do it. I would recommend it. And that's it for my first tips and tricks video. When I progress further, I want to do another one, but I think for now it's good to get started. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And I would say have a nice day and see you the next time.